Hi everybody, I'm Nick Mahasevich, VP of Sales here at M-Line. Today I'm going to talk about the four major types of packaging foams that are used. The first type of foam I'm going to show you is EPS, which is expanded polystyrene. This is a fabricated piece of EPS. As you can see, EPS is fairly rigid and it's mainly used for blocking and bracing. This EPS can also be molded. Here's a molded piece of EPS. Uh, EPS is the least expensive type of packaging foam. And uh, actually, if you mold it, it drives the piece cost way down. However, you need some fairly high volumes to make molding worth your while because the molds are very expensive. The other property of EPS that you should be aware of is it's very brittle. As you can see here, um, this can uh, crack in transit and these little beads can actually get on your product with a static charge. So that's something you should also be aware of. But again, EPS is great for an economical alternative with a, with, a, with a low cost and again, great for blocking and bracing. Second type of packaging foam, this is polyethylene. Polyethylene is fabricated out of uh, foam planks that are usually one inch, two inch or three inch in thickness. Polyethylene is very good for cushioning as you can see here. The way I'm compressing it, it has very good cushioning properties and very good vibration dampening properties. It comes in a variety of colors. This is an example of a white polyethylene end cap. This is an end cap used for a medical device. Uh, polyethylene is an average price foam. You'll, it's very common because of its price point and its cushioning and vibration properties. So uh, very good alternative for cushioning and, and cushioning... Uh, some expensive products. The next type of foam I'd like to show you is polyurethane. This is an example of uh, convoluted polyurethane. Convoluted is the way it's cut, but you probably see this, uh, uh, this type of uh, egg crate type of, of foam a lot. And as you can see, it has a sponge-like feel. Very good for cushioning and also very good for vibration dampening. This comes in a variety of colors as well as different densities. This is a, a fabricated piece of polyurethane. You can see there's a little bit of sparkle here and depending on the grade, you can get more sparkle on polyurethane grades, some more than others. But this also can contribute to a nice presentation or a sparkling effect when you open a package. This is polyurethane foam in a case. Uh, this is uh, again convoluted in the in the lid and the fabricated piece here in the, in the base section. We do a lot of casework here, and again, uh, this is a, a polyurethane is a good alternative for casework. The fourth type of packaging foam that's very common. This is crosslink polyethylene. As you can see, crosslink polyethylene has a very smooth feel to it, and it's used for Class A surface protection. Um, Crosslink polyethylene is used in the automotive industry a lot, and it also is very durable, so it's used in returnable dunnage. And again, anytime you have a, a highly polished type of surface, this type of foam is, is perfect to use in situations like that. It also comes in various colors. This color here, this is more of a charcoal color. The last one I showed you was a, like a light gray. And it also is a great foam if you need to water jet cut because of its durability and the way it actually um, takes the water. It, it doesn't absorb water, so it's perfect for water jet cutting and you can get some very narrow cavities if, if you water jet cut this material. Uh, Crosslink polyethylene is the most expensive type of foam, but it also has some of the best properties of any of the foam options. So, so those are the four major types of foam. Again, there's EPS, there's polyethylene, there's polyurethane, and there is cross-link polyethylene. All of these can be fabricated in many different ways. You can die cut them, you can wire cut them, they can be water jet cut, they can also be cut on a CAD table, and they can also be bonded in different ways with either heat lamination or with various types of adhesives. So these are all good options for you. If you have any questions, please contact your, your M-Line sales rep They'll be able to help you. Our in-house engineering department can also help prescribe the type of foam that is best for your application. 
And you can also always visit our website at m-line.com. And I uh, hope to work with you soon on one of your projects. Thank you for your time.